Okay, so in this following diagram, we have parallel lines A, B, C, D, and E, F. So I'm going to highlight those really quickly. We have A, B right here, C, D, sorry, we fix this, A, B, C, D, and E, F, cut by transversal A, F right here. And they don't list it, but this line, too, is also a transversal. Luke says we can only find the value of angle D and nothing else, but let's see if we can prove him wrong. How many angles can we find? Well, let's count them as we go. This angle right here is 29 degrees. It's vertical to this angle right here, right? So those are both 29 degrees. Um, this angle right here, this empty space, will form 180 degrees with the 29 degree angle here. So it's 151 degrees. I just subtracted 29 degrees from 180. But that's vertical to this angle over here. So this is also equal to 151 degrees. As we slide down the transversal over here, we can slide our values with us, right? So here, this is 29 degrees as well. This is 151 degrees, right? This is also 29 degrees, and this is also 151 degrees. As we come further down the line over here, right, this is going to be 29 degrees as well. And this, right, 29 degree angle is formed by this line and this line. So this is also 29 degrees here. And the 151 degree angle encompasses, right, from this point to this point. So I don't want to use that yet. I want to go up and use what I have here at angle B. And this fact that this is a transversal here as well. Alternate interior angles are equal. So these two angles are between these two parallel lines. It must both be 88 degrees. And so is this over here, 88 degrees. And it forms a straight line, right, over here. So if we add 88 to 102 degrees, right, excuse me, um, if we had 88 to 92 degrees, right, we will get 180 degrees. So this is also 92 degrees here, clearly not the scale. We have a triangle um, formed right here with the, the points and it's the points here, um, form triangle, excuse me. So it's 180 degrees in this triangle. So it's 180 degrees minus the sum of 88 and 29, right? 80 plus 20 is 100, 8 plus 9 is 17, so it's minus 117 degrees. So that's equal to 63 degrees. And that's the angle value here. This angle would then be 63 degrees. And because this is a 180 degree angle, right, over here, we can find our missing angle that goes here. We do 180 minus 63, that's 117, minus 29, right, what do we get? We take 17 away, but we're taking 29 away, so that's 12 more, so that's 88 degrees, right? So this angle right here is 88 degrees, right, that forms our straight line of 180 degrees, and here, right, uh, when we cross over to this side, we should also get 88 degrees, they're vertical angles. Going back up here now, we know that this is 92 degrees. The corresponding angle up here is also 92 degrees, 88 degrees, and 92. So basically, we can actually find all of the angles here. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, including one of the ones we had, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, about 21 angles um, in this diagram. Thanks.